Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. We've got Stephanie from Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening Hello. and Ava from Queen Midas Life Alchemist. Hi. And Ava, before we get started, there was some talk that you and I were the same person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a week ago today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some past lives together. We know about them. We're in this life together too, but we are two totally different people. Yeah. We look like the same person. Right. Especially when my thumbnail was me and clearly. Well, I'm let's not first explain yet. what happened. Ava was sticking up for Bryce and I in David Zublik's Dark Outpost chat while Bryce and I were being called witches from hell with our friend Judy. And then Ava was sticking up for us and then all the, the fundies said, oh, you must be Bryce with a different name. And what did you say, Ava? <laughs> they were like, um, I bet you Queen Midas is really Bryce. And somebody else was like, yeah, I know. And I'm like, well, considering the fact that I'm a black woman and my thumbnail is also of me and I have a YouTube channel where you can go and see who I am. Yeah, that's how not true, I but nice try. Though. Camera talking and typing at the same time. Because I was literally yeah. looking at the camera having a conversation. I know. I know I'm good, but I'm not that good, guys. <laughs> oh, I think, Bryce, I don't know if you oh, were on you that one. On. Yeah, yeah, you, you weren't were on. on. It was just oh, me and Judy. A different one? But mm -hmm. your, your name came up because you are into the same, you know. Truth? Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying very desperately to, to light this sage, guys. So we know, just to put, you, put it out there, guys, it's kind of funny. We know the dark players are on their last leg right now. We know that some of them are on the run right now, which is hysterical. You can't run, but you can't hide because you can't get off this planet. Um, so, but I'm just going to go ahead and sage. And I'm going to ask that if you, if you consent to me saging your screens too, for our viewers, just say that you consent. Um, if not, that's totally cool. I'm going to ask that Michael and Gabriel, please come in and protect our zooms protect our spaces i'm going to call on my girl magdalene um whom we were laughing before we started recording i called her large and, and in charge and she got upset about that because apparently her parents were not large people were very long and lanky people so <laughs> she's very slender and, and in charge they have a sense of humor these two they do so i'm going to call on magdalene to come into the space yeah um, yashua and any other uh, beings that are of our highest good? Any beings or entities that are not here for our highest good? I'm going to ask you to please leave. I send you away back <laughs> into the light of source creator. If there are any demonic entities that are around that have been tethered to any covens through witchcraft, or black magic and have been tethered to do the deeds of the darkness. I'm going to remind you right now that you demons can also go back to the light. You don't have to do what you're doing. I know you've been tricked into thinking that you have to serve a dark master, but that is not true. I've heard some channelings now that it upsets even you when you have to do these dirty deeds. And so I'm going to tell you right now that you don't have to, you can go back to the light. You have free will too. Um, but if you are an entity here serving Lucifer, the darkness, um, I'm going to ask, I'm going to demand that you vanish from the space and I'm going to send you back to the light anyway. All right. And so it is. It's not like you needed to say like, actually it's probably not a good thing to say if from a Disney movie when you were doing that with like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, bibbidi bobbidi boo. I'm just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> I was Funny, filming all with three Shanti of us yesterday. The same thing. I was filming with Shanti for Aquarius Rising yesterday, and we were doing. I have a pen. I often have a pen because I have, usually have my notebook with me as to, as well. And she she does too. She has a notebook in her lap, and she said people were accusing her pen of being like a wand. And it's like, <laughs> literally, when we come to these shows, guys, we have notes because we don't. We're not walking encyclopedias. Like we have to keep ourselves on track with what we research, especially when we're going over our findings and our research. We have to to keep. You should see my notebook. I mean, my notebook has has. I mean. You guys, like this is my notebook. This is preparing for Monday's show already. Like it's organized so that I can keep myself on track because I don't know this stuff off the top of my head. I have to research it. It's, it's, 
you know, it takes time. And so I have to be able to keep myself on track. And I do take notes and shows sometimes too, because if someone brings up a point that I didn't come across, or I want to look more there more into, I'll write it down. So please don't make situations where situations should not be made. Um, somebody commented on the last episode, I told you guys that we're now only going to re be referring to the person we have been taught was Mary Magdalene as just Magdalene. Um, it has become, become very clear that that was her actual name was Magdalene. Now, I said to you guys on that show that she actually wants to be called Maggie. And in my and you girls can can validate and, I, and off screen in my personal life. What do I call her? Maggie. Maggie. I call her Maggie. But on camera, I'm calling her Magdalene. So that people know who we're referring to. Well, someone left a pretty nasty comment about how, uh, I'm paraphrasing, how she wants to be called Maggie, but yet I'm calling her Magdalene. Dude, don't make problems where there are no problems. There is a reason why I'm calling her Magdalene on screen. It's so people watching know who I am referring to. Mm -hmm. She knows this. In my private life, I call her Maggie. Okay, she understands why I'm using the name Matt, her full name, on this show. I think that I thought that was pretty self-explanatory, but I guess common sense ain't so common. Well, okay. we have, we have a lot of energies anyways, bringing up and stirring up a bunch of stuff. So I think, you know, I expect getting a nasty comment here and there. So it's just one of those things where we, we don't, we don't argue back. We just kind of delete it and just done and done deal. We can't avoid bad comments altogether, but <clears throat> it's just a boundary. It's just a boundary on, I know I'm sure all three of our channels, you know, just if you disagree with us, that's fine. It's just more or less the condescending stuff behind it that, I mean, we're not telling people they have to believe what we're, what we're saying. It's, um, you know, they can do their own research and figure it out for themselves, but. And you guys are proving our point. We keep saying that the Christians are the worst. They're the nastiest. And you keep proving our point by leaving abusive comments on our YouTubes. So if you don't want to be called names, if you don't, are not names, if you don't want your behavior pointed out, then don't do that behavior. Yeah. I don't get threats from Hindus. I don't get threats from Buddhists. I don't get threats from atheists. But we don't even get threats from anybody who's Islamic. No. Mm -hmm. Just from Christians. Yeah. We just get abusive comments from Christians. Um, I had somebody say too, I want to just call out quickly that they would be praying for us, that we would be see the truth in Jesus Christ, that God would reveal the truth to us. Honey, God has revealed the truth to us. His name wasn't <laughs> Jesus. Jesus means hell, Satan. Do your fucking research. His name was Yahshua ben Joseph. It, the, the research is out there. You I look think like it's a idiot. lost cause even with some people too, though. You know, it's it's not. The, the it's a programming. Is cr yeah. Like, um, look up Mithraism. You are not worshiping the Christ. You are worshiping Mithra. Fact. The intention is Fact. they are worshiping a good person, but the reality is they've twisted it and tricked you. Yep. You are worshiping oh. Mithra. And I think it's important. I'm, I'm glad you said that stuff because like, um, this isn't necessarily an angry, like, message to the people who have grown up in church and who really do believe that in their heart of hearts, they're doing the right thing and they're, they're following the right um, path. There are many paths to enlightenment and spirituality. And unfortunately the ones that are through the church are, are misleading people. And that's not your fault, you know, but it, um, I'm not going to say, but I'm just going to say this is if you are feeling like you're you're conflicting and you're having a, a, a cognitive dissonance or or you're feeling triggered by the messages and fearful or something, take some time to sit with that and, and do a little bit of research. Look something up because you're going to find some incongruencies with what you're being taught, you know, so um, please don't take this as like a hatred thing or like being judged for what you were, were taught or, or raised in, you know, it's, that's not your fault, but you also have the power to um, it is arm your yourself with knowledge to get yourself out of it. And yeah. it is your responsibility to not leave abusive comments on people's YouTube. Yeah. Cause too. I will start blocking because that is not okay. That is not acceptable. If you, if anybody leaves any abusive comments towards me, towards Stephanie, 
or towards Ava on my YouTube or any other guest I have on my channel. Because as I've said, every single person I film with at this point is a friend of mine off camera. We're not, I don't consider, do you consider us colleagues, girls? Like we're just working together? No, no, no. we're like family. Like, we're like, <laughs> hey yeah. girl, hey, what you doing right now? Yeah. So if, if, you, <laughs> if, if you leave an abusive comment towards any of my guests, you will be blocked because they're also my friend, mm -hmm. okay? You can disagree, but to be that nasty is not okay. And all we've done is done our research. Trust me. The three of us have very, very deep relationships with our creator, very, very deep relationships with Magdalene, with Yashua. All right. Can you guys hear any motor in the background by any chance? Okay. Mm -hmm. Power washer used outside. So I'm just making sure we don't have annoyance um, in the background here. Um, before so we get, so we're going to do like a kind of a, a two parter episode today. Um, and we're going to go back into the book of revelation and we're going to look at some of the astrological things coming up with Ava too. Cause whoo, the show just continues. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What's that song? Show must go on. Show like, must, show go, must go, go on by, by must, well, by queen, but yeah. I don't think right. Freddie was happy with his circumstances. I don't think a lot of people have been happy. And that man had a freaking voice boy. Mm -hmm. If he's alive, I better sing with him one day. Freddie, if you're watching, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of singers that have been asked to fill in and a lot of them turn it down because they can't, they don't think they can vocally match um, what Freddie Mercury. Are you guys familiar with the singer Mika? Mm -mm. Not that I know of. He matches Freddie Mercury pretty well. Y'all should look him up. He's got. There's another guy that does too pretty well. And I, I think his name is, oh, what's his name? Mark some, oh, he's got a YouTube channel and he does all these renditions of um, Queen and. But Freddie has a very similar range I do. He's got a very high range for a man. Like, he can match up to an alto, even probably even soprano female. Like, mm -hmm. and apparently was the extra incisors in his mm -hmm. teeth where he can open up his jaw more. Because they kept saying, oh, we can remove those so you don't look so funny. Because he used to call him Bucky when he was a little kid. And um, I think that was his name. And he's like, no, I, my range comes from... My extra incisors, his his molars, he had four extra teeth in his mouth. It's pretty incredible that he knew that so early because that, mm -hmm. that, that to me sounds like it was like a spiritual download because a doctor's not going to tell you that, you know? Well, we're not going to have cool. our wisdom teeth taken out. I had my, my, they took my wisdom teeth out when I was a really, really small before they even come started to come in. Um, mm -hmm. I was like in the fifth grade and I was about to get braces and they did an x-ray and they could see but they weren't ready to come in yet, but they were turned in a particular way that would have like messed up the braces. So they had to surgically go in, like put me under surgically remove them. And we're not supposed to have our wisdom teeth removed. I actually wanted to look into that because like, number one, why are they called wisdom teeth? And number two, why are we just expected to get them removed exactly. you know, or not expected, but it's, it's like common to just get them removed at a certain point. I, kept I feel like there's something. The dentist. Huh? I kept getting yelled at by the dentist. You need this removed. I did have one impacted one mm -hmm. that needed to be regardless. Although I'm sure I could have some like Reiki done or something to help it. But um, these two on top, I had removed. And then this one, this one never grew in. Yeah, it's, yeah. And I think too, I've been looking at stuff <laughs> about like our teeth anyway. And if we were on the proper diet that we sh all should be on, we would need things like dentistry. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, what you all, eat it's all a result of your tooth yeah. health. Well, and it's our, if you look at like they, our ancestors had perfectly straight white teeth. Super white. Yep. Yeah. Because they, they weren't given fake food. Yeah. So they've done this strategically to us. So, but anyway, guys, we're going to go into the book of Revelation. This is like, this is, you can tell we're friends because it's like, we recording sometimes. I was like, we're we're all over the place right now. Okay. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> chatting, so, yeah. um, just, so, just work with us. Uh, the, 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 I can't talk Mercury retro <laughs> Which is coming to an end soon, guys. We still have a shadow period after it ends. So mm -hmm. until the eighth, I think. Good gravy. So I've got, we're going to start going into that. I'm going to let Stephanie take the lead on what she need, what we want to talk about in the book of Revelation. I've got my pendulum. I've got two decks of tarot cards here in case I, I don't know if I'll pull or not, 
Um, we'll just see, we'll just see where the wind takes me. But um, I'll, there's one thing I wanted to address too. Somebody asked, why are we looking through the book of Revelation if we know that the God of the Bible is Lucifer? Which 100, well, actually let's let that be the first question, Stephanie. Can we verify that the God of the Bible is Lucifer, not source creator? You want Ava to pull on this too? Yeah. If you want to, Ava, sorry. I didn't mean to speak for you. <laughs> it's okay. I, I was going to do it anyway and just keep it to myself. Oh, <laughs> Down of the Bible, the devil. Guys, it's really fun having all friends who read tarot cards because what do we do? Okay. Right? We have a question. We just text each other. Hey, can you pull for me? Hey, can you pull for me on this? I know. So I'm going to ask my pendulum and Magdalene before he came on. I verified Matt. So I'm going to show you guys. This is a yes. Pendulum, will you show me a yes? Awesome. Thank you. Pendulum, will you show me a no? So going in circles is a yes. Going forwards and backwards is a no is magdalene working my pendulum right now mary mag the person known as mary magdalene maggie yes so magdalene is working my pendulum right now maggie can you show through the pe pendulum thank you can you make it stop for a second thank you um is lucifer the god of the bible what we know as the bible yes that's a circle so my pendulum through Maggie is saying Magdalene that Lucifer is. Oh, that's a big. Actually, Stephanie, the other day we were we were asking Maggie questions and she got ferocious. Oh, it's happening. Yeah, she gets really strong with the pendulum. Yes, this is saying a yes that Lucifer is the god of the Bible. Maggie, thank you. Can you stop the pendulum, please? <laughs> is the real god coming back to earth source creator spoken about in the book of revelation is the real god not lucifer but the yes guys 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 mm. what the cards say you make this shit up i pulled a lot of cards number one yep yep the real bible was yeah, this, what is, what do they say about the devil? He comes to destroy, deceive, and kill, kill steal, right? and destroy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then it talks about Jesus coming back like a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a thief in the night, right? Yeah. <clears throat> And I've said that um, the real Bible is under the Vatican. We, we've never seen the real Bible, guys, and mm -hmm. no one has. No one watched it. Sorry to, a burst your bubble but it's under the vatican it's hidden you really yeah. think they're going to give you the real bible no mm -mm. right um again this is like heartbreak this is fighting fighting which yep mm -hmm. nasty emails and comments and all that kind of stuff right and all and the then, wars are fought over <laughs> yep and it was like the population was blindsided look at her yeah look at all those ravens Yep, I was, I was just about to say that. Yep. Yeah. Ravens are curses, guys. And then we have, oh, 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 it's going down. Uh-huh. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a spell book. Yep, the mm -hmm. Bible is a Luciferian spell book. Yep, absolutely. That's witchcraft right there. Yep. Now, I was asking Maggie, she said yes, confirm, because we know they have to tell us the truth somewhere. So mm -hmm. Lucifer is the God of the Bible. And we know the book of Revelation at one point was a banned book, but they put it back in. And I asked Maggie, is Revelation telling us the truth about the true God? Because they have to tell you at some point. And she said, yes. And I'm going to remind you guys what we covered last week, which was Revelation 21, where it actually says another God is going to come down. Okay. Let me, let me read this to you guys. Um, so now the dwelling, so this is a revelation. I'm going to start with Revelation 21, 3. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, now the dwelling of God is with men and he will live with them. There will, they will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed. So he said he, he himself will be their God. That's indicating that the God of this earth we've all had before now was not source. It was a different God who was Lucifer. Yeah. That's why we see blood. Ace. Yep. A oh, my favorite ace. Is that ace the ace? The oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's the baby batter ace. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, exciting ace of all time. I know you got real excited. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Wow. <laughs> That's my 
points right there. That was the Ace of Cups. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. So, guys, that's why we're going through Revelation, because this is the, where they're telling us the truth. I mean, they're telling us the truth in other parts of the Bible. As I said, we've been talking about Moses. If you go read about Solomon, what you see, you can't see it. It's all spell casting. It's all witchcraft. It's all black magic. Okay. So, um, please, before you, again, before you leave a nasty comment, do your own research. We're speaking truth. What year did you get the Bible was written? I got the Bible was written in the late 1700s. That the makes sense, Tartaria. actually. Was I supposed to not bring that up? That's just what I got in a download at the fall of Tartaria. Yeah, it's okay. a great resource. You want to pull on that? You want to pull on that? Pull on it. All right. Was the Bible written in the 1700s, the fall of Tartaria? Uh, at the fall of Tartaria, when the... Um, so the devil... So if you look at all the pictures of the uh, empty cities from the late... You know, early 1800s and there's no one there person taking the picture is obviously a lizard a lizard person you know one of the 13 bloodlines because they have been cast down into the dungeons basically for a thousand years of peace which is spoken about in the book of revelation and then when they were allowed back out again that's when we had the mud floods and all of us were taken off the earth again and they had time to reset everything that's when they created all the religions in order to create division rewrote our history um, I hate to break it to you. The three of us are all Americans. Um, no white person got on a boat and came here, guys. No, I hate to break it. I know this is going to offend people, but incubator Ava, babies. Yeah, Ava, you can you can attest to this. Black people were not sold on the slave ships like they told us. We, mm. they, they put us into categories. We got here to cause division. But white people, black people, Native Americans, they were all put here at the same time during the Great Reset. And they gave us all stories and indoctrination through these freaking uh, world's fairs. They were indoctrination camps to, to sell us a story in order to cause division, hate, strife, brainwashing. So he, we would go to the negative timeline because we're at Gog and Magog. And Gog and Magog ain't nothing but a timeline war, guys. Mm -hmm. Wake up. So I'm not getting anything in my cards as this specifically was. However, I will say this. <clears throat> Messages and words that were handed to us to put us on a different path of judgment to put us we on maybe some. a negative path so much you got eva you got some of the same cards okay so i'm gonna start at the bottom of the deck first of all ace of swords so yes that's written word that's spoken word Ooh. um and, and then behind it death. five of swords it's like uh almost like we're the victors like this is these are the people that they're they're using uh they're spell casting over and it's like, yeah, we, whoops, we won, walk off, you know, uh, and then it's like, um, this is a secretive thing, you know, uh, the hermit is by himself, but he's also, he's got this light here. And it's almost like, that's the light that they're using the Bible to lead everybody down whatever path, but there's judgment coming with it. Um, okay. So then I'm going to get to the cards that I, I pull. So there's a lot of pinnacles here, which makes it to me. I just was like, that's just a bunch of spell casting. And um, this is not a word, but I'm going to make a word Coventry behind it. <laughs> there's Coventry behind it. So there's a town in Connecticut called Coventry. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> they're, they're, let's make it a verb. They're, they're coveting. They're cut co because we've made humaning a verb. Like, they're, yeah. they're coveting. Covening. Covening. <laughs> they're <laughs> yeah, so the Queen of Pentacles, this is like they, they put a lot of hard work and effort behind um, deceiving people. So I've also got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So I've got this uh, divine couple here. It's like um, interesting because it that would indicate like a balance. But then I have the King of Cups here and the emotional. Uh, they got rid of the Divine Feminine. Yeah, I only have the king towards here. Towards the masculine, yeah. I've got the seven of swords and the ten of uh wands. Whoa. Yeah. That doesn't tell you. Holy and crap. then another the knight of pentacles as well. So it just to me, all these pentacles and they're like the hot like the uh face card pentacles just makes it and then the one that's like hard work makes it just seem like yeah, there's a lot of magic and spell casting and just um uh strategy. strategizing what is that word deceit and i can't think deception that went into it and caused a burden on the human race um uh, yeah nothing causes more burden on the human race than this sucker yeah yeah 
Um, Maggie just told me that, yes, the true Bible, the true story of humanity is underneath the Vatican. And what they did is they came and they took that and they inverted everything. So what we're getting with Moses is correct. This is a book to venerate. Mm. I might have to blurt that word out, guys. <laughs> Maybe one time. It's okay. Have I said it only once? Yeah. Only so once. Far. Okay. <laughs> I said it on my channel and I was fine. So. Okay. It's I've said a few things lately on my channel accidentally and I haven't bleeped it out. I'm good. You're, you're fine. Yeah. You said inverted and the hangman was behind the judgment card. That's what Maggie said. That's what Magdalene yeah. said. It's all inverted. Yeah. The true story is going to shock everyone. Mm -hmm. um, we're really all of all three of us. I think most people watching were the, of the Egyptian race. We're of the um, lineage of the Egyptian. Yeah. <laughs> Black, like an Egyptian. The bangle yeah. song starts playing in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, which we were told were the bad guys. And they were not the bad guys. All right, so we know that. So now we know that the Bible, the God of the Bible, is Lucifer. But at Revelation, this is where they're talking about the new, they're the new, the the real God, the Source God coming back because the contract is over. Can we ask the cards? I don't know if we asked this last time. <laughs> I keep getting my song in my head every time you say Revelation. Oh, <laughs> Revelation, Revelation. My God, I, I made a song. Guys. I made a song. <laughs> Make like silly little jingles about the sit. That's how oh, no, it was a rap song. I don't write rap music, but I did. <laughs> this is over. We're going to release greatest hits, great awakening, greatest hits. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even get through that song without stop. Almost pissing myself. <laughs> I don't, when you sent me a video of it, I was pee myself. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> one day guys, one day I'll have a music video on that. We'll do a greatest hits of the great awakening. <laughs> <You can't laughs> it's laugh like, I don't know, but you know, we're living in Gog and Magog. You got to laugh, right? You can't. You can't take it too. So well, can, do we ask? This I have last? a gift in laughter. <laughs> can we ask the cards before just, just, just because the whole point of us doing this is we want you guys to stop being afraid. Yes, we yeah. are in a war. Absolutely. We're in a timeline war, but probability is on our side, but it's only a probability. There is a slight chance that they could hijack it. Okay. And they're trying very desperately to hijack it. Part, part of that is convincing you that the, we're at the apocalypse, not a Gog and Magog. Another part of that is doing these stupid past life readings where the, the reader is telling you what happened. No, no, no. They're trying to keep you to stay on the negative timeline. So collectively we stay on this timeline. So by choice and consent, we're consenting to the negative timeline by trickery. We don't want a big boy there. You, you saw that? that? Yeah, I what? saw it. Okay, I yeah. saw it. Who? Past Christ. Right behind yeah, you. Yeah, you had a big hour. So crazy around me. It's it's was, yeah. Right. Even on the dark outpost this morning, they were flying, they were flying. Make, it's like Magdalene. making themselves known. So so for the dark ones that keep putting those cute little death spells on me, this is why I'm still alive. <laughs> you see all these orbs. But I'm, you're also alive because you're strong too. Yes, but I am so effing protected. It's kind <laughs> of funny, guys. Like. Jokes on you. You picked the wrong girl to mess with. Okay. Okay. Just so you know, I think you figured that out by now. <laughs> I think you figured that out. Can't, can't take me out. All right, Stephanie. So can we ask the cards just, just to verify through the cards, has the apocalypse already happened or would it be easier to ask the cards? Was the fall of Atlantis, the apocalypse? I'll just ask if Atlantis was the apocalypse. Okay. And I've got the lawnmower going outside, so I'm going to mute myself because you can't hear that. Mm. Oh, if you can't hear it, then just let me know. I'll mute myself if it gets too loud. That's an ace. Is that the ace of cups? It is. Thanks, it's Matt. a bracy fave. It's my favorite one. Yeah, we know. Um, but I, I have, I'm going to go into more a little bit here. <clears throat> we were hoodwinked to think that it's not. And... They erased the memory of it. They stole the memory of it. This is like a memory. This is stealing theft. Making us think that normally this is my dark to light card, but I'm switching it up. Light to dark card. Because it's walking away from oh, something. Yeah, from the truth. Yeah. So there you guys go. Take what resonates. What'd you get, Eve? I got the Eight of Swords first out, which um, <laughs> I asked. I asked 
did the apocalypse already happen? Uh, since you asked the other one. So I got eight of swords. I took this as yes. However, this, uh, so this is self-inflicted imprisonment, uh, like something that's not necessarily there, but we're holding this mental, uh, we're held mentally. So I got yes, because we think that there's this uh, apocalypse still coming. So we're feeling this heavy burden of needing to be needing to balance the scales because, uh, you know, um, we don't want to be burning in hell or whatever. And um, I have the five of pentacles here, which is also, it's uh, a, like left out in the cold almost. And I, to me, that feels like, this is interesting, it's coming now, but almost like from the standpoint of a, 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 a Christian or someone who believes in God and feels like, oh, I need to strive to be better, to be better and whatever, but I need to fear God too. And I need to be afraid of you. And, and like, almost like this internal turmoil of like, I, I know that I need to love you, but do I really feel love from this God? And it's like this mental turmoil of like being left out in the cold. Cause like what God would send me to a fiery hell at the bottom of the cup, cup, bottom of the deck. I have will of fortune, like, um, the, the supposed like still coming of or what is that the supposed like um imminent apocalypse that is like already happened it's it's um like keeping people hopeful that they're gonna be saved and it's already happened it's like keeping them i'm seeing the wheel as like this cyclical thing like yeah. we're we're still hopeful we're still hopeful but it's like okay the wheel was already it already flipped before you've done, you, you've done that you, you've, you've done it there, before bro. yeah like, yeah okay, i'm being um pushed by magdalene to ask this question to try to get to the bottom of timelines so in the last episode or episode before we were talking about how these infiltrators are selling you this idea of past life readings where they pull the cards and they tell you what a past life, wh what it was. And they're playing on the negative, the false timeline and getting you to, to emotionally connect to a false history to keep us that collective entrapment as the orbs dance around me. Um, so if the fall of Atlantis was apocalypse and then we had the tribulation and then we had the a thousand years of peace, which was Tartaria, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Someone does not want me to speak right now. <coughs> I do my tuning fork. <coughs> Someone does not. As an orb went by. You guys hear that? <coughs> At first, do it again. <coughs> Bob, we know you're on the run, and we know you're still trying to spell cast right now. It's not going to work, honey. Your ass is about to get arrested. We know this. This we know. All right. I'm going to keep going. Because I know that this story did some something to you because you lied. Oh, yeah. um, the uh, time that I was gang R A P E D by the coven that's after me in this life too. I was a female in that life. Um, they were all males. It was a gang of men, which they're probably a gang of men in this life too. They're just pretending to be women. Um, and I, I will say now, I'll add something to that that I left out. Uh, I was actually nine months pregnant when this happened. Um, when I was gang R-A-P-E-D and my spouse at the time, the person who was my, I guess, I don't know if we call them my consort, I guess, was tied up and had to watch it happen. Okay. I know this is horrific, but this is what happened. And it actually killed me. This gang R-A-P-E-D killed me because um, it was brutal. And the baby was cut out of my stomach. All right. She survived. That baby did, did survive. Now, let me ask the cards. Was that part of the fall of Atlantis? Mm. And that baby then fed into Tartaria. I think the fall of Atlantis was multiple of those. Yeah. But was that the leading into, was that the bridge of Tart to Tartaria? Because we know that baby ended up going into Tartaria. That wouldn't make any sense, though, Bryce. Because here's my thing. Wasn't that the Thousand Years of Peace? Tartaria was, yes. Okay. So Apocalypse, so Apocalypse came first, then the Seven Years of Tribulation, and then Thousand Years of Peace. 
That's how Revelations describes it. Now I'm getting confused. So it would go Atlantis, Tartaria, Gog, and Magog. Because wasn't it, was all the people removed though during the fall of Atlantis? Not all the people, no. Did okay. someone go underground? <clears throat> someone underground, someone up to the Pyrenees? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's why there's a high concentration of O negative blood, because O negative yeah. blood allegedly is the Atlantean blood. That's the blood I carry. Um, we know that's the blood type that Magdalene had was O negative through the Atlantean. I'm not going to get a straight answer, Bryce. Well, the reason why I asked that too is because we know in the new timeline that we're walking into, it's going to be me well, what's happening right now is mir mirroring the fall of Atlantis, right? Because a lot of us who were at the fall of Atlantis are back now. Um, and we had children that carry, <laughs> someone does not want me talking. <coughs> we had children that walked into Tartaria to carry into the Christ consciousness. Mud floods came, wiped it out. Now we're Gog and Magog. We were put back here. And what do we keep getting? A lot of card readers, not just us, but other card readers are getting the next cycle of children being born are children of the Christ. <laughs> higher dimensional beings that are trying to come through again. Um, but the difference this time is that we're all ascending. The whole earth is ascending. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I guess what we can ask is, um, was Tartaria the a thousand years of peace? I was like, I'm really confused about the question to ask right now. That's why I was just sitting here. I was trying, I'm trying to get the timeline for people. So people kind of understand like what, and I know I talked about that, that I remembered that, that there, I was also kind of shown that, but I remembered that because the story I was given didn't, it was a whopper. It did not make sense to me at all. It did yeah. not resonate. Um, and I know Stephanie. The period of a thousand years of peace. So I, can I just say your memory, Stephanie, that you. Not right now. Okay. One day. Okay. One day. A lot of us are having the same memories. Let's just put it that way. And so I'm trying to set up this timeline so people understand because we've been so hoodwinked about like what our timeline actually is. And that's why we keep saying Atlantis fell a lot closer to where we are now than we think it did. <coughs> Bob really does not want me to t talk about this. <laughs> Because every time I talk about it, it gets Bob in trouble. Also, all the tangled webs we weave when first we practice to deceive. Just don't deceive people and you don't got to worry about anything. You and these little ditties. <laughs> you know, like if you don't lie, you don't have to remember anything. That's true. That is like, you little orb behind you. Like, yeah, girl. <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> You should, uh, huh? Well, I just—I was waiting on Stephanie. All right, I got a storyline. I got a storyline that's not just Tartaria, though. I think this cycle has happened most mul multiple times because we've had Lumeria, we've had all these different reciprocal cycles. So the way, yeah, I like how you brought that up because the thing is, what I've been getting is this is the seventh. <clears throat> Going from dark to light, Earth is gone into. But this is the final. That's why it's so important. It's the final. Because, yeah, you had Lemuria. Then you had Atlantis. Who know, Who the hell knows yeah. what's before I'm all that? I'm looking at the, the <clears throat> past that we're So looking. I'm I'm getting a story about the apocalypse here. So mm -hmm. this is like Atlantis. All happy. Uh, using your intuition. You know, just... Uh, purple sky. Yeah. Oh, shit. Purple sky. There you go. Then reptilians come through, <clears throat> cause chaos, confusion, heartbreak. Here's the apocalypse right here. Mark of the beast, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then we have this, um, <clears throat> yeah, and it came really quickly. It was abrupt with that seven of wands. Okay, now we have the hanged man in the justice card, which could indicate the thousand years of peace right there. There's balance. Yep. And it's kind of like nothing happens. Like it's just 
peace. Yeah, thousand years of peace, right? With a purple sky. Along with, you know, spiritual leaders and, and gurus is what you would call them, um, Bryce. Um, <clears throat> no secrets. Nothing was hidden. No hidden. I'm getting Maggie and Magdalene and Yahshua. This is probably them. They're teaching, right? Because we know Yahshua was not crucified. Yeah. So that's, that's just a story. I, I didn't get a yes or no on that. It's so that's what line. I'm thinking. So that's what I've been in. And then after the, after the contract was over. So that's why also why we're not going into the, we're not, that's another reason why we're not the apocalypse guys, because thousands of years of peace is just a thousand years of peace. There's no ascension with that. Yeah. We're still third density. What do we know that's happening now? We're ascension. ascending. So what Ava, does that mean? Gog and Magog. Yeah. Ava, did you get anything on that one? Yeah. Um, so the question was, was uh, it, um, Tartaria and the Thousand Years of Peace. I got the full. So um, I book ending, I got the full in the world. So to me, that was a yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in between, um, I have the eight of swords, which I took, I clarified it, but I took this as um like freedom from this uh, possible imprisonment that was starting to happen or could have happened before the fall of Atlantis because there was that shift that was like, they were getting too much in their own like uh, egotistical power or whatever. It was the same thing that happened now. The, the, a group of the Atlantis fell because a group of elites started to harness all the energy just for themselves. Yeah, in that fall, that start of Tartaria brought a ten of pentacles to the people. Like it, it brought back this abundance. It restored an abundance and like a fulfillment to them. I also have the page of swords with the knight of pentacles. Um, so it it's like um, again offerings of stability and almost like safety and security from that what resulted from the fall and they had this new world which makes sense if it's a reset it's a it's a new world why do they call america the new world so this is my thing too okay i know this is steering a little bit away from revelation but i made the statement that the story we've been taught about the settlement of america is that code for the repopulation after the mud flood after the takedown of tartaria mm -hmm. is that code because i have to tell you a little bit of truth Mm -hmm. So was the settlement story of America into the new world, the repopulation of the planet, not just the United States or the American co uh, continent after the mud floods that took down Tartaria to put us where we are now in Gog and Magog. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we, we, we're going to be in charge of <clears throat> writing these history books. I know. <laughs> uh -huh. And girl, did you know that? Um, Wait, yeah, guys, was. look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is ancestors. They they told you they they told you that the King of Swords tells you things. He's verbal, right? Confident with confidence that our ancestors came over on a boat. Our ancestors came over on a boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the story they gave you. Mm, yeah. Uh huh. So I, I also wanted to share about half of my deck. I'll be back. Oh, <laughs> at the bottom of my. Uh, <laughs> At the bottom of my deck, I had the judgment card. I, I forgot to share that. Um, and for my clarifying deck, I had the judgment for the large rider weight. I had the page of pentacles, which again, to me seemed, and then here, this is the give and take here. Um, it, it just, to me, seemed like that, that judgment was in the people's favor and it brought on that stability and safety in that new world and that thousand years of peace. Yeah. yeah. So it's all happening with this prophecy, which unfortunately the controllers know the prophecy better than most of us do yeah uh, and know. we're told that over and over yeah. again they know the bible better than or say uh lucifer it's, knows well, the bible, bible. Better than it's their it's their yeah. holy book you know that's why so um so okay so that that i hope that makes sense to people because i think people are just so like stephanie and i keep saying tartaria is going to be the nail in the coffin once people realize tartaria was a thing and all that bullshit they i'm sorry if you have your phd in history <laughs> God, you know, right? You got felt, you got fed some fantasies, my friend. <laughs> Grimm's yeah. brother's fairy tales, right there. Um, you know, and so, um, yeah, we don't know, we don't know our look at those ravens, those mm. 
nasty ravens that are used to hex people, those ravens that hex people, um, blindfolded people to not see the truth. Isn't that funny? They're still using ravens to blind people and do nasty things to them, aren't they? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Very interesting. Can I ask the next question? Yeah. I'm going to ask a question for us to pull cards on out of chapter two of Revelation. <clears throat> Verse, uh, it's, it's nine, but it's not the whole thing. And it says, I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you and will, and you will suffer persecution for 10 days. Can we ask if it has anything to do with the 10 days of darkness? Well, you said chapter two, verse nine. No, uh, yeah. Well, Hold on. A, my, in my Bible, that's about the synagogue of Satan. Interesting. Catholic Church. I think it's all churches. Synagogue. Well, yeah, that's like the root the of the Catholic is the mother, isn't she? Yeah. She's the mother. Are you, you're not in chapter twenty two, are you? No, I'm in chapter two. To the church in Euphrates? No. It's chapter two. A revelation. I know, but it's 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 uh verse nine. Yeah. Halfway down. Verse nine. So it's the church of Smyrna. I know. The slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. That's Revelation 2 9. Are you all in the same translation? I'm on the NIV. NIV. Uh, well, I have my Bible over here. I can pick it up and see. <laughs> verse 9, right? Chapter 2, verse 9. To the church in Smyrna. Yeah, Smyrna. 9. But okay. mine says nothing about the mine says nothing about the ten days of, of darkness or ten days of uh Yeah, it's not it's not the full 10. thing. You need you need to go down. You need to go down a little bit. It's not yeah, the full so chapter. Verse, verse nine and verse ten talks about the, <clears throat> the prison. So first oh, it's sorry, I'm about sorry, Satan. it's verse ten. I didn't see the 10. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was really confused. I was like, whoa, did we just crack a code? <laughs> we all have different Bibles. <laughs> Is this, I'm going to ask, is this the 10 days of darkness? This chapter 2, verse 10. Um, girl, though, I got, I just got a hit. What? Because it talks about even to the point of death. Mm hmm And then I'll give you the crown of life. Crown I, of life. I think at this point, the God they're talking about is Lucifer. I think they're talking about arrest and, and uh, the magical places where they go after their arrest. <laughs> the magical places. The magical places. <laughs> On the islands. Oh. Those, the super prison. Um, and that's the tribulation of 10 days is on the island? Maybe that's the tribunals. Yeah. Tribulation. We're going to get put in Hold up. Tribunal. Hold up. What's what's the ten days of darkness going to be? They said it will be broadcasted the tribunals, yeah. So the prison. Okay, now we're on to something. Yeah. Tribulation, yeah. So and guys, we want to make we wanted you guys to understand too. Revelations is mixed up. It's talking about both yeah. the apocalypse of it, fall of Atlantis and Gog and Magog. Yeah, now, it's, I don't it's know not in was, order. They no, it's scrambled. not in order. It's, it's like a bunch of scrambled eggs. So I, I know there's lots of truthers that think we're in the apocalypse because we're getting the some stuff that are in Revelation leading up to the apocalypse, but everything's mixed <clears> up in this book. Okay, so some of this stuff wasn't for the apocalypse, but is for Gog and Magog. Oh my God. So Plus, I also kind of think that they're intentionally bringing some of this stuff right, well, obviously, bringing it back around to, again, deceive us and make us think that we are in the last days. Right. Um, because, oh... And we're now the ones that are going to be put to death. And we're the ones that know. Okay, so let me read this to you guys again to the audience that's listening. So verse uh, chapter Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you, and you will suffer persecution for 10 days. Be faithful even to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. I think it's talking about Satan. Them dying because of their crimes. I got an answer. Sorry, I get excited. What'd you get? 
Well, number one, I got an ace. Ace of Cups. Oh my God. <laughs> Mine just flipped out too. So passionate. So is that a passionate yes that these are people getting arrested? Very yep. passionate. Oh, you okay. both got it. I got the judgment card. Tribulation. Okay. Now, I got a weird download with this one. King of Swords. Oftentimes when I pull for white hats and such is the tea card. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he's very cutthroat with his words, which, like, like mean tweets. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think those tweets were mean. I thought they were quite funny. Oh my I God. thought they were funny, too. Okay, I enjoyed it. But that's because but we have a backbone and we're not snowflakes. What's the 10 days of darkness? We sit on our ass and we watch tribunals. Mm -hmm. So, so this is hangman and this is sleep breast. So for us, it's going to be exciting. But for a lot of the sleepers out there, they're going to be like, what the fuck? It's yeah. going to cause a lot of trust. So that's okay. So guys, I, yeah, I don't think it means we're going to like lose power because heaven forbid, if we lost electricity in Atlanta, Georgia for 10 days, it would be stinking of death because no one can survive this heat. Like, come on, guys. Like, they would not do that to us. I so, think it's going to be three days of no electricity. They have to shut down the power grid to restart it with the Tesla free energy. I don't know if it'll take that long, though. <clears throat> I now, we were talking about, re remember, we were like, what is the time even going to feel like, though? Because time is relative. So it could be like super, super fast or like way shorter than what we know of as three days, you know? Yeah, we we kind of been playing with that idea too. Yeah. Okay. So so we know. Okay. So can I ask? Are there going to be some truthers that are in the tribunals? As in arrested, not as in like journaling. As in like handcuffs on. I'm like I know the answer to that. I think I do too, girl. <laughs> I'm like seventy. I'm, listen, I'm way more excited about that because my ass has been the target, and so <laughs> let's restore some justice. So are there going to be some truthers that are going to be um, heading down to the islands for 10 days of darkness and are going to get the crown of life for Ooh. Lucifer? The crown of life? <laughs> well, also, too, whoa. The whole sphinx closing its eyes, too. I mean, yeah. That, I won't go we'll into saying, that. That picture is Photoshop, guys. There's a video. There's a fucking video from an iPhone. It's not photoshopped. You 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 want a god moment? There's your god moment right there. The fucking sphinx closed his eyes. That means Lucifer turned on his people. Okay. These cards don't look good at all. Good for us or for them? For them. What is this? Same. Okay. First thing that came out was the Ten of Wands. My question was, not Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. My question was, will there be truthers going to tribunals? And this, uh, I mean, that's, this is like an end to a situation. It could be an end to someone's uh, life force energy. It, I, and then I have, I mean, usually death doesn't um, mean actual physical death, but it's not, it's negatively aspected here. They're right next to life. They're getting that crown of life from Lucifer in the next. Yeah, <laughs> look at the crown on the 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 whatever this helmet thing is. Um, that's crazy. Yeah, I have the four of cups here. I think this could be some people who might have a lighter sentencing, and it's like they have this uh, little glimmer of hope, but like they have these empty cups here because they still were doing somebody's bidding or they still were doing something knowing consciously that it was wrong, but they didn't quite go as far as these people. And like, they might still be, um, it's hard to show itty bitty. Offer. Huh? The cards are so itty bitty. I know they're baby, <laughs> um, but they still might have this offer of like, you're not going to get this, but you're still going to be, have to pay with, you know, pay your dues for what you did. Um, and then the star card, this is, this can be healing and rejuvenation. This could be like what comes throughout the community. Once people have to go through and see that this happened, then uh, real truth and real healing and real uh, freedom. Because we were talking last night, uh, there's patriots and, and they're like, yeah, the, the election, did you see 20, 20,000, 2,000?
Trump in 2024. No, we need to do this shit now. And yeah. those are those people, <laughs> like they're awake to some extent, but they stop at the ceiling of no, no, no. This is way past that 3D. Okay, it's not BS. even. I don't even think about that shit anymore because I know it's all spiritual at this point, guys. That but was just opening the they're door. They're trapped at that level. Yeah, yeah they are and trapped at like, that level. And I think that this, by seeing this, is going to free those people to get to real healing past that. And I want to explain this. There, we know that there are truthers who are being paid off by the controllers. They're not necessarily committing any like heinous crimes, that mm -hmm. like you know that kind of stuff. Yeah. But there are truthers who are absolutely cooking um, with some, uh, we'll say some spirits. And they're absolutely, yeah. I mean, some of these truthers guys have pictures on their Instagrams yep. covered in blood. Yeah. You want to see what I got? Yeah. Yes. Let's see what you got. They're going to take a little trippy poo. Yay! <laughs> Bon voyage, bitch. Have a beautiful day. Oh, you Enjoy got that too. <laughs> Enjoy you your kind of life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of this. Yep, yep. So, guys, this is the death card with the hangs, man. Use your imagination. I'm not going to say it. Wow. We both had that aspect did really bad. Yeah. 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 Because of secrets. Listen, yeah. if you're in this doing the drink and eating the meat. You guys know what meat I'm talking about and doing yeah. the hoobity jubity to hurt people. Your ass is going down to the islands and getting that crown alive. That is 100%. You can tower underneath guys. Uh huh. So, yeah. Cause it's breaking. What I mean, this is what I don't understand. This, this, this is what boggles my mind. We know that the white hats are watching every truth or channel. Yeah. They're narcissistic psychopaths. They don't think they don't see themselves ever failing. I don't, but I, I'm sorry. As a person of the way, I don't get how someone could be so dumb. Because like, a healthy you're mind being, can't understand a healthy mind. They've probably even looked into all of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we got that they have. They know who we are. They know who we are. Yeah. And listen, Bob, I remember how fun is this? You gang R-A-P-E-D'd me. With your coven, took my life, tried to take the life of my child because I was nine months pregnant, but boo hoo, she lived. Um, and now I'm back and I figured you out. I just had Backstreet Boys come in my head now. Backstreet, back. Backstreet, back. back. Prices back. Oh, I'm <laughs> back, bitch. And I remember, I had a memory, and other people who were in that situation had the same memory I did. So, Sweetheart, my little girl lived. I didn't in that life, but I'm here and I'm going to watch you get arrested. All righty. All righty. Mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> drop. So what else do we want? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's. let's. All right, where, what are we going to ask about next with uh, the book of Revelation? <laughs> what, this is a lot of revelations, isn't it? I know. <laughs> you want to talk about the, the letter to the church in Philadelphia? Yeah, I want to know. I mean, I have a different, I have a couple different interpretations of this, but I, I don't want to read the whole entire letter, but letter to the Church of Philadelphia. Well, number one, it's very interesting because what was Philadelphia? I think it was America's first capital, supposedly. Well, I um, think Philadelphia is the original Philadelphia. I think, I think that's why there's a Cairo, Georgia, why there's an Athens, Georgia, yeah. why there's a Rome, Georgia, yeah. why Atlanta is called Atlanta. This yeah. is where it actually happened, guys. Yeah. So my question is, I want to know if this is a letter to T. R U M P. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to read a little bit of it so people can get the gist. These are the words of him who is holy and true, who holds the key of David. He opens no one, what he opens, no one can shut, what he shuts, no one can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make those who are the synagogue of Satan who claim to be Jews, though they are not, but are liars. I'll stop there. As you said, is it Mr. T? I, these two cards came out. Victory. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. And isn't he a Gemini? He's a Gemini, right? He's June. Is that the no, ace of... He was actually born in December. I think that's... Oh, Trump. Correct. What? I don't Trump, think that's right? Correct. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So we don't really know. We don't. Who are you talking about? Trump. We'll just go into Gemini. Okay. Okay. It wasn't at the Ace of Swords. Yes. Yeah. uh, So swords are air signs. He's an air sign. Okay. Yeah. So let me see what I get on this one. Is this a letter to T R U M P? If the lovers card pops out, that's the Gemini card too. Um, <laughs> oh, as I say that, literally. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yep. That's the Gemini, Gemini. card. Yep. I like Gemini's. Balanced Gemini's. If they're too Jekyll and Hyde, it gets a little crazy. But when they're balanced, they're pretty cool people. Yeah. Huh. Gemini. I'm balanced anyways because I'm a Libran. Yeah. I'm an Aquarius, <laughs> so we're just out there. We're, as Shanti says, we're the rebels. We're like, yeah, no, we're going to do it my way. Mm-hmm. My twin is an Aquarian. Mm-hmm. I know your twin. He is an Aquarian. <laughs> Mm. Aquarians are very creative. We're very creative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We detach well, well. We detach well. Aquarians, like we're able to kind of detach if we need to. However, my moon's Scorpio, so. Oh yeah. Well, I love that because I need my alone time, and I was like, okay, well, if if, if that's my twin, he's gonna be okay with the independent part too. See, I th- I hear that. See, I have this whole scenario worked out where it's like no play hard to get but um i i hear that uh with twins um son of a gun i dropped another card <laughs> I, I hear it's pretty once you are in contact it's very magnetic oh, okay well yeah <laughs> all right that is my last girl that ace of cups yeah so it is whatever so it is <laughs> I mean, i'll take that too yeah <laughs> were we saying last time the front hugging uh stephanie's son was oh like, front hugging <laughs> That was funny. The front hugging. The messy front hug. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, y'all. <laughs> I'm sure Tyler figured out what we were saying. <laughs> what did you do? Tyler was in the room. <laughs> Could you imagine being a 15 year old and your mom and her, her your mom and her middle-aged friends are talking about front hugging, messy front <laughs> hugs? I would be mortified. So, I know, right? <laughs> Tyler's is bored. I'd be mortified. When he was little, he's going to kill me if he ever watches these videos. When he was like really, really little, he learned this term in school. Of course, he always, they, the kids learn these things in the school, right? Well, a back hug, they called choke humping. Wait, what? No. They call it, yeah, they call it choke hum- humping. <laughs> so, okay, somebody was watching something. That's how they got that, that term. How old was he? So I went to go hug the dog, like from <laughs> back. Why are you joking the dog? Like what? What? I can't. I would die. I would. Die. I did die. I think I died about ten times and came back. <laughs> I mean, my nephew is nine, and I don't think he has a clue. <laughs> I think he's still. I think he's still afraid to touch the elf on the shelf. To be honest with you, I think that's how desperate he is. I think he's still like. I think my niece, who's like seven, understands a lot more than he does. Bless his heart. He's so naive. He's so innocent. That's <laughs> funny. But when he said that, I was like, "What? That's that, play- <laughs> that's that playground talk, girl. That's that playground talk." Oh my god! Oh god. Anyways, according to the question, I'm going to be honest. My cards are all scattered. Like, I don't have. <clears throat> I mean, what I could what I what I could look at it is the synagogue of Satan. Part of it is like they're they're trying to steal the timeline. Yeah. But it's not answering if that's a letter to T.R.U.M.P. Um why do you want to what what about the letter to to philadelphia it stands out to you more than the other letters the synagogue of satan 
being pretending that they're Jews, but they are not. Well, we know that it, because the person that it's written to, it's it's like writing a letter um, for the person that's fighting against the C A B A L, which pretend they're Jews but are not. Whatever the synagogue of Satan. That's kind of where I. They're the descendants of Moses, um, which he 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 worshipped Yahweh, which was Baal. So. Um, can I ask, are the um, seven letters that are supposed to be the different churches in Asia, are those actually constellations where people are from? Galactic? Oh, oh, the seven churches, seven constellations. The reason I'm asking that, guys, if you have not watched previous episodes, we've come to the conclusion that the 12 tribes of Israel, as far as the ones coming from Jacob, are actually the 13 families. Because if you remember, Joseph had two sons, which were added into that collective. So that became the 13 bloodline families and that the other 12 tribes of Israel for the light were galactic. Lyran. Churches. How many letters are there to churches? The seven churches? Seven. Uh -huh. the seven? Yeah. Yeah, seven. Well, guess what? Yes. And then I get the seven of pentacles, which, what do they look like? Planets, right? Planets. Seven churches. Yeah. And with the world card, yeah, so it's a letter to the different tribes Seven of worlds. the constellation. So is Philadelphia the Lyran? Like or, the tribe of Judah. No, uh, not tribe of Judah. The tribe, the tribe of Judah of. is... Um, okay, so... Would be the mirror, the darkness of the mirror of the light of the Lyran. So if Lyran okay. is holding Christ conscious, Judah would be the line that destroys cross Christ, Christ consciousness. So in Philadelphia, the, the Lyran group? I'm either thinking Lyran group or Venetian group. Yeah, it is. And look at its gold. Oh my God. The strength card. Yeah. Which is oh, another look at the line. line. <laughs> so the church Make of Philadelphia. Shit up. Is Philadelphia a Lyran word? Philadelphia a Lyran word. Yeah, I know it's Egyptian, like it's Egyptian word, but we know that all came from is Philadelphia a Lyran word? Is it a light language Lyran word? Mm. That's a good question. We just never would know where these uh, things are going to go, do we? I know. No, this is interesting. Ace of oh. cups. <laughs> I got the sun card. Sun is a yes card. Yeah. yeah I also gold. got the yeah. moon, which is interesting. Sun and moon. Yeah. Gold and silver. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's coming Gold and silver. Those are the two color auras of the Lyrans. Yeah. And Swap and Brown got some gold, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, honey, me too. When I, when I when people first started commenting, you're looking older. I was like, it's my light. And then people like <laughs> my wife were like, in my in my life outside of YouTube were like, why is your skin changing to a gold color? I was like, well, it's not my light I've now. Been called, so. I've been told multiple times I look silver, which that's my aura, silver. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and I keep seeing these comments like, you're you're glowing silver, and I'm like, huh? Like the same thing you were getting. I thought it, for a long time, I thought it was just my ring light. And then, I mean, orange man bad for a reason, right? Yeah. He changed colors. More sirens going by. Those keep, by the way, increasing. Philadelphia, light language. Byron, light language. Philadelphia. Sorry, I'm still pulling over here because I'm slacking off. That's okay. Doesn't the Philadelphia name come through the Ptolemy line too, which is Cleopatra, which fed into yeah. the Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's all making sense now. Connecting those dots. You said it comes, Philadelphia comes through? The Ptolemy, the Ptolemy line, which is the line of Magdalene. Yeah, yeah. Through her father. Interesting. I just got a, a new book on Cleopatra because I want to start a series on her. Yeah. But uh, yeah, line. I have a few now. So, yeah, the Ptolemies who ruled Egypt were actually Greek in descent. Mm -hmm. When I say Magdalene's father was Greek, but he ruled Egypt, he came through the line of the Ptolemies, which is where we get Philadelphia, which is a Lyra. Guys, I don't know if this light language, my cards don't like me right now. You need to change decks? Maybe. I mean, so, well, I guess we know Philadelphia is connected to the Lyran group and that the letters written to all these different churches who were going up against the synagogue of Satan were the galactic 12 tribes of Israel. I don't know why other, there's only seven though. Maybe, are there missing ones? Oh, like they took them out. Five letters that are missing. 
that are supposed to be in here? Do they remove five letters? Oh. Uh, yeah, because that was because yeah, there's more than seven tribes. Yeah, there's twelve. All right, let's ask that. Are there five letters that are missing? There are five letters missing out of the Book of Revelation to different churches. <clears throat> Different, yeah. let's say let's say to different um tribes constellations oh, could you not the devil card and the two of wands so they took it out so in the future we wouldn't know uh, I get off that. yeah guys i gotta switch decks and i gotta cleanse off another deck like i feel weird energy on this deck and i don't know why it's my favorite okay your light seer's deck yeah. The light Hold card. on. What I'm using. I'm going to use my gilded. I'm wondering if those letters would cause, uh, to have them included in the Bible, would cause uh, detriment to the bad players by having those. Why else would they take them out? There's yeah. And it's like, because um, this can be like an agreement. Or uh, did you pull it in reverse, or did you pull it up right? It, it came out in reverse. So it was, I think, it, it's a bad agreement. It's a bad deal. Yeah, like it flipped when it came out. Yeah. Um, and then I also have this, which is like a piety card, uh, three of pentacles. That's our coven card, and it can be a coven card too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like this was a bad agreement between the coven. Big. Um. And also, I have another Eight of Swords. Like, by by leaving this out, it keeps us in this bondage-type state because if they were to include it, it would be detrimental to them. Yeah. Um, this King of Pentacles yeah. keeps popping out in this animal deck, and I'm looking more at the picture. Like, ball. Bull. Bull. Yeah. The upper of the earth, a king controlling of the earth. Who is the controller of the earth during this time? Sorry, the guys. Horned, horned king. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I felt like I was in a vortex just now. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the shower this morning and I felt like I was rocking on a boat. And then I got out of the shower and it started happening again. And I think there's timelines merging today. Yeah. <clears throat> we can ask that after. Well, do you, guys want, to well, do you want to move into the astrology? Sure. Let me let me see if we got missed books. Oh my god, guys! Seriously, five pentacles. Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty clear they took out. Five. Oh, five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but they took pentacles. Out. Uh huh. Yeah. The, yeah. Sure. They took out five letters. By powers that be. That's yeah, somebody of power. Was, yeah. Yeah. Four cups. It left a bad deal for us. It was a bad deal for humanity. Just have those five letters removed. Now I'm Eight of swords and imprisonment. Yeah. Now I really want to know what those five letters said. They must be pretty juicy. I know. What right? they say? I want to know. They're probably to the Venetians talking about their sex stuff because in Venus, all apparently, I've told you guys, I really think <laughs> that's that's my soul was supposed to go to Venus, but my GPS got messed up and I ended up on Earth in this gangster planet at this time. And maybe that's why I'm really good at directions now because I was like, oh, hell no. I was supposed to be on oh God, Venus. Right. <laughs> She's all I ain't getting lost again. No thumbs having sex all day. And I ended up on Earth. <laughs> that's hilarious. Slight detour. Like I got messed, I got lost. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's funny. I had a mom watch this before I even took my body. <laughs> Does your mom watch this? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Mom, it's all jokes. We're just kidding. We're just laughing. I know I'm supposed to be here right now. I know I'm not supposed to be in Venus, but I'm very intrigued by Venus. <laughs> I wonder why Asa Cups. Raise the cups. <laughs> I'm very intrigued by what they do on Venus. I mean, that's literally apparently all they do all day. When do you eat? Apparently, we went to the wrong place. <laughs> I know. Like, how do we get there? Like, what did I do to get back here? I mean, like, <laughs> that sounds like a way better deal. Um, and you never hear of the Venetians here helping us. It's always like the Palladians or like, no wonder. Because they're too busy. Well, we're too one, of them, fun. one of them, though, he was a big player in all this. <clears throat> Nikola Tesla. Oh, he's Venetian. 
Yeah. No wonder he hermited himself away. He was like, uh, damn it. I was, I was totally thinking that too. I was like hermit solitude. He was, <laughs> he just wasted away because he wasn't getting his numbers. He's like, listen, the, the faster I get through this shit, the quicker I can get back to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can get back to really living. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, do they do they have other events? Like, do they go the day they play sports? Do they like watch soap operas? Do are do they literally just do all that all day? Like, do they? They are sore? the soap opera. <laughs> do they get sore? I mean, I, I just. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot. Of I'm really curious. Like, I really don't know. do they do they breed like rabbits? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, how many are they overpopulated? <laughs> like, is this is this an issue? Oh my god. Meanwhile, we've probably had several lifetimes on Venus. It's probably all stored in our DNA. We probably know it all. Yeah. Maybe that memory will come back. Well do some fun stuff. The priestesshood of Isis is sex, magic, mm -hmm. and whatnot. Go, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> magical well, we're moments just, we're just laughing guys you guys know we're all we're, this is all just in fun because our side of the, our side of the team our side of this battle knows how to laugh so we have to balance out bitching at the dark ones okay listen <laughs> when you've had three death spells on you you're allowed to make jokes about going to venus okay so <laughs> is there we're a having question? fun so let's ask um about aries uh or mars going mars. into aries oh, oh we're switching to the We'll switch um, energy. Yeah, let's switch in energy. Okay. Energy. So uh, Mars in enters Aries May 24th through July 4th. This Mars wants to do its own thing. And Aries <coughs> is ruled by Mars is the sign of courage and independence. We carry energetic suitcases of frustration from the time we didn't pursue our desires. Step up and take your turn. Sounds like a slogan for Venus. Step up, batter up. Time to play ball. <laughs> yeah, you, you're next. Come here. <laughs> Step up. <laughs> Let's hit a home run. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, um, so we so are what at. Mean? So what are we looking at energetically, uh, collectively as a planet, um, March, or May 24th through July 4th? Today is the, what's today's date? Today is the 26th. I know this is going on my channel on the 27th tomorrow. So we're already well into this um, Mars and Aries conjunction. Um, I also want to point out that Mars is also the planet of war. When it's aspected well, you get someone like Mr. T. When it's not aspected well, you got someone like Mrs. Hillary. No last name needed. She's like, my Hillary. Mars is in Aries. Do what? I said my Mars is in Aries, so I have the, you know, it, my ruling, it, my my uh, Aries energy is strong, but uh, okay. it's very. I've, I've said this before, Aries and I have very special relationships. My most passionate um, boyfriends have been Aries. The friends that I probably would end up getting arrested with one day are have been Aries. For some reason, my type of air as an Aquarius feeds right into that fire of an Aries and it yeah. Those are fun relationships. Those are very fun relationships. So I, li I like my Aries. Our friend Mornay from Aquarius Rising Africa is an Aries. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. He must have a lot of water in his chart, too. Maybe. Mornay, if you're watching, let us know, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. I asked about the energy around. Mars and Aries. So, um, th there's a whole bunch of emotions. Okay, it it's like a it's a clusterfuck of emotions. Okay, so we have <sighs> I'm trying to figure out how to interpret this. Is it going to be a roller coaster? More of the roller? We're getting on another ride. We're at the music park getting on another ride. It's kind of like if any of you have been to, I was about to say Riverside Park. That was years ago. Six Flags bought him out. It's in Massachusetts. Superman 
roller coaster yeah. with a very, 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 very steep drop. You would have to pay me a million dollars to go on that ride because okay. I will not go on a ride like that. No, thank you. Um, it's like me jumping out of a plane. Okay. Um, I'm getting, there is a lot of, I'm actually, I'm getting envy. And the reason being is it's like wanting to take someone's money. They're jealous. They're jealous of what other people have. Jealousy. <clears throat> These two Are aspects. Are we able to see it? Has it already been? Okay. So has this envy and this jealousy already been there, but now we're able to see it? For well, I think is? that's what's happening. I think it's an emotion that is coming up because I have Lisa Cups. Passion. But I'm also looking at the cup as like the solar plexus area almost kind of like, I mean, if you think of a cup, it's kind of like the uterus, yeah, right? It's, yeah, so it's, it's like cool. stuff in the gut coming up passionately. And so we have some icky emotions coming up. We also have some emotions of dissatisfaction. But going forward, though, I think once we get past the hurdle of it with this card, the thing is, <coughs> we we're gonna it's gonna bring out some confidence in us with that uh, King of Swords card. Uh, King of Swords is very confident, very well, very well put together with the words when it's aspected correctly. And <coughs> there's going to be a lot of reminiscing going on with that Six of Cups. I feel like confidence starting to do. Um, to well, they said to take what you want. So, like, if you've denied yourself, what I just, I posted something on this about Twitter, like, make the phone call. Just make that fucking phone call. Do, start that yeah. project. Like, do what, whatever it is you you desire. Plus, so Ace of Cups is passion and all, and all jokes aside, it's a passion card. So, like, yeah. they're doing it. Just do it. They're doing it. Yeah. Hmm. On Venus, they are. Anyway. <laughs> <As we said. laughs> so, so. This is like, this also could be maybe uh, communicating with people you haven't communicated with in a while, possibly. Maybe things are starting to come out, more more stuff in the, the mainstream media is coming out, and, and people maybe are starting to wake up even more with these two cards put together. But I also have, this is something that's coming to fruition. That could be collectively, that could be independently. So maybe this is um, <clears throat> new cycles are beginning. And old cycles are ending <clears throat> because, you know, it's a cycle. This is something coming to fruition. Yeah. What you got there, Ave, Ave? So <laughs> um, I got the overall energy here is very action oriented, which makes sense because that's very uh, Aries passion. I almost said Aryan, but I don't think that's the right way to put it. <laughs> right. Um, okay. So the first thing, there's some things that need to be let go of and, and moved out of the way for us to tap into this. So surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of change in your job. Wait, I just pulled this yesterday. Wow. Okay. Whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health or relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. I literally just pulled this energy yesterday in my uh, star chat with Natalie and I. So that just makes sense. If this is the energy we're shifting up into, this is spirits. Like I, I wasn't playing yesterday. What did I say? So <laughs> surrender the fear of change y'all. There's a, yeah, there's a lot coming up. Stephanie just said, we're ending cycles. We're starting a new one. We're starting new, uh, beautiful abundance and healing coming into fruition. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to read this first because it this is the way it makes sense. So this is the card five in the, in the uh, magic of unicorns. New opportunities. Five is transformation. And like uh, when it's five, 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 it's like a quantum leap, like a big shift. OK, so declutter your life. Glimpse a magical doorway. Declutter. Surrender any fears, any um, um, needs to control, any need to uh anxiety or worry or anything around what might come or what has happened or this is the normal or blah 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 like what is normal declutter that because you're going to open um magical doorways like there's so much more opportunity and so much more space to have abundance and freedom and new creation and um like this dude's walking out of darkness into like 
rainbow unicorn magic land, right? So like, <laughs> like clear that space, switch on your inner light, bring forward your gifts. This also comes when we make that space, our gifts come forward, our, um, uh, divine appointments and relationships come forward when we clear out that energetic gunk in the the programming and everything else that attracted negative low vibe things to us we make space to have a be more beauty in our lives um switch on your inner light and it looks like there's light symbols in this too i don't know if you all could see that look at these uh light symbols around the card yeah mm -hmm. um Okay, and then from the Moonology deck, I have three three cards. So show the world the real you, full moon and Aquarius. So this is like uh, full moons are endings of cycles. So it's like ending out um, anything that's not you anymore, uh, letting that go with love, grace, non-judgment, and show the world the real you. This is a time to be embrace that Aries energy. Aries are bold. They're passionate. They're energy. They're like energetic um, go getters, doers. So this is the time to bring forth who you really are. And, and it's a time of authenticity and with the eclipse and all of the celestial transitions, we can't hide anymore <clears throat> who we are or who we are not. Like we can't, we can't, that stuff is going to be brought through the surface and it's okay. It can be fearful for some people, but work through your fears. Just like I said, surrender your fear of change. Surrender the fear of closing these cycles up to, to actually show who you really are. Um, new moon and Scorpio. So Scorpio is about things that are hidden behind underneath the surface, you know, and, and again, those things are going to come to light and that's okay. Um, especially if you're a being of the light and of service to others, you know, it's, that's all right. It's going to come forward and that's something that to embrace and transmute and let in the new stuff. And, um, have faith in your dreams. So again, with the action, if there's something that you've been putting off, something that you have been questioning about yourself, or like it keeps nagging at your mind that you need to like revive that dream or that uh, aspiration or whatever, this is heavy energy that's supporting that creation energy right now. So waxing crescent waxing is when we are working toward a full moon. It's like we're, we're putting in the effort to complete something, to close up a loop, to, to, uh, um, collectively in a karmic cycle. Yeah. So, and, and having faith in a dream can be dr uh, the dream of ending all this BS, this prison that we've been, um, trapped into Literally. and trapping ourselves into. So yeah, the very action oriented, like we have the power to shift things within our own life on a microcosm, but also collectively on a macrocosm too. Yeah. I had, I, oh, sorry. I pulled a couple of oracles to go with mine for a second because I totally forgot to do that. Okay. And you guys, no, <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Venusian Galactic Council. Ah, they're like, here we are. Yeah, they're laughing. Star <laughs> they, they think we're cute. <laughs> Star being guides, answer the call. Time to shine. It goes with your taking action, um, Ava. Their yeah. action's different, though, than that. <laughs> Yeah, to specific. pleasure. Wink, wink. Time. You shouldn't be a little bit more specific. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I to one to bring that up. But also, too, I got mirror. Who, what, who, or what is triggering you? So, if you have triggers, time to respond to those triggers. How are how are you? How are you as an individual responding to what triggers you? Are you sitting there and going, okay? Why am I being triggered? Learning from the trigger, addressing the trigger, or are you just lashing and projecting out to others, right? So this is like a time to really look at, um, Bryce and I talked about shadow work today in Dark Out Post. I know we talk about it a lot here on your channel, Bryce. I know, uh, Ava, we talk about it as well. I talk about it on my channel as well. <clears throat> so I'm, I think we know what that means at this point because we've reiterated it many, many times. But yes, if you have some triggers coming up, time to address it um this is this is the next two cards and i'm not going to go too too far into it because i know we have other questions going on here but i don't want to take up the whole entire time <coughs> but i have double mission light worker starseed serve the world by being you mm. show the world the real you yeah yeah exactly and a lot of us are kind of on a double it's almost like we're living like this double life you know bryson if i, I think we've 
both talked about, all three of them talked about this before, where we're in like this limbo stage. We're still living our 3D lives with, you know, the regular rigmarole of what we do in our lives, mothering and not that that's going to go away, but I'm just saying like uh, some of us still have, you know, corporate jobs. Um, <clears throat> you know, we have to take care of the lawn or we need to take care of certain things and the 3D stuff, right? And a lot of us are in between that. And we're also living in this more 4D, 5D realm too, where um, we let go of that fear. We're, we're living in a more vibrant, higher vibration, right? So it's kind of like that double mission kind of energy. And then I also have this two star family. You're part of a, you're, you're part of a team of souls call and support. I like this one because we, a lot of us are finding our star families, our, our soul families, um, that burst of light right there. Um, or we're about to start calling in our soul families. You know, they, <coughs> your soul family will be attracted to you once you've done a lot of work on yourself. Well, this is a question I have too, because and I, we're all getting close to two hours. So we're going to have to wind down a little bit soon here. But we were talking before we started filming, we talk about letting your true self, self, self shine, calling your soul family, having that passion to, to do what you need to do that maybe you didn't have the balls to do before. Um, is this because are people going to start actually having memories? I know we've already had, I've had memories, but is the whole facade, the amnesia, the brainwashing, the black magic through our universities, through our matrix, our news, is all that going to start to wear off now? Because we're, we're, our timelines are actually starting to merge now. And are we going to start to remember who we are, really? Whether that's galactically or in the past lives, remember who other people are. I think uh, with this card that I had, um, switch on your inner light, bring forward your gifts. To me, that's like illuminating who you really are on a soul level and call and that, that goes to me with memories and uh, actual spiritual gifts and talents. And um, I think that even includes past life uh, acquaintances and, and family coming in too. Just, just looking at what I already pulled. Um, but yeah, when we clear the, the old crap and the programming away, that stuff has space to come forward. That's what I'm thinking is going to start happening because then they can't, their, their spell casting can't work anymore if you actually remember. Yeah. You know, they can't dupe you. If I get some of my, more of my special uh, divine um, powers come online and you can't find me for a few days, I probably went to Venus. I'll be back. <laughs> you can bring me with yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, Stephanie, I disappear. Amy, want to come? <laughs> I'm going. I'm no. out. I figured out how to ask her to travel to a different planet. <laughs> I'll be back in a couple of days. I need to go check this out. Yeah. It's a couple of days here. It's like a couple hundred over there or something. <laughs> and I never come back. I'm like, I'm good, guys. <laughs> it's peaceful over here. Everyone's <laughs> banging real happy over, here. over here. They're real happy. It's real banging. No <laughs> fucking <laughs> Their beds are real comfortable, guys. <laughs> it's Cho Company over here. Cho Company. I'm done. Ew, that sounds so like violent. I can't bring <laughs> Venus to Earth. <laughs> I gotta go study how they run Venus and I'll bring it back to Earth. Right. Um, okay. Oh, Ava, were you still going with your reading? No. I was gonna ask the you actually you can just answer this question. If you want, I don't even remember what the question was. So. <laughs> oh, no, I was, I was answering if um, we're going to start to get our memories back and I got an answer. Oh, cool. Let's hear it. So it's like, we're kind of in this, like, like Rimbo. these swords are coming at us and it's almost like we're trapped, right? But these swords coming at us. So that's like the amnesia <clears throat> thoughts and words. Okay. I'm going with thoughts on that because that's like memories. Um, but I feel like moving forward and, and like we've been in limbo for so long. So in limbo, moving forward, 
it's going to be like, <coughs> it's going to come in. I feel like these are all the different maybe past lives coming in, remembering family, soul family. And I got the two of swords, but I feel like it needed to be inverted, like unblocking. True. And then that remembering might be blocking, blocking the black magic spell casting because all of a sudden we are remembering. Oh yeah, that that's the right. Incarnation isn't working yeah. anymore. So remembering soul contracts because the two of cups can be an actual contract. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would say from the cards, uh, that's a yes. I mean, I intuitively get a yes anyways. Ships carry a lot of cargo too, so I thought of the ship as coming in like the, sh the uh, like a package that comes to us and it opens and we get all of this knowledge back of who we are. And the the eight of no, that was the nine of swords, the first one that you pulled. Yeah, I put it back. I think it was the nine of swords. There was this like creepy red character above the sword. You saw I noticed. That? I yeah, I never yeah. noticed that before. Yep. So I had four cards fly out of the animal deck. So first was the two of pentacles, which that's our timeline war card with the 10 of wands, which like they're spell casting really hard. They're using emotions with the seven of cups to keep us on the negative timeline. But guess what guys? Mm -hmm. New journey. Yeah. Death flails. It's work. It's not going to work because we're going to start remembering. Yep. Um, can we ask if the are the twin flames or at least some of the twin flames coming into union soon to create the solar flash, solar flare we need? Wait, what's the question? Are some of the twin flames, not necessarily all of them? If they're least, Ava, she asked if they're coming. Ava, Bryce, I don't know what's going on with your mic, but you're hard I, to hear right now. It's probably Bob, because Bob won't <laughs> be speaking. We know, we got confirmation, we actually got confirmation that Stephanie and I were correct, that twin, older twin flames, so literally the same soul that split coming back together in the act of putting themselves back together, if you guys, that Venetian spirit putting them, themselves back together, um, the orgasm is a solar flare. Yeah. yeah. So is that happening soon? <laughs> Ace of Cups too. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. That's funny. Got a little Venusian going on there. Oh, and I just. What is that? The sun. Um, oh, yeah. Gosh. So it's coming soon. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. soon. Yeah. Isn't that hysterical that the way to drive out darkness is to literally have sex? Hey, you know what? Maybe we're learning a thing from the Venusians and we don't even realize it. I mean, well, it's making love, right? Like, what's the opposite vibration of, of black magic and destruction and ripping people apart and doing all sorts of nasty, gnarly things to them? It's making love. It's a little bit about you. Wow, well, wow. Well. <laughs> what is it? Choke humping? I thought it was choke hugging. Choke hugging? No, choke humping. That's what he came back to school and said, choke humping. <laughs> I can't handle that. that true thing he ever learned in school so no right everything else thrown out the window like, <laughs> this is why i that. pulled him out of school <laughs> i mean i i'm highly educated i went yeah i know we all are ava did you get your masters mm -hmm. i almost got my master i i was looking at ucla up for a point and i didn't but i didn't but we should all just have, I mean, just got to laugh about it. Like it was an experience. You met people, you got to experience life. Like, I think that's what people have to now look back on their university and their educational times is like, you made friends and you learn things about yourself through those ex social experiences, because absolutely everything we learned academically was a bunch of hocus pocus, not as I pulled the judgment card. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I retain history really well. Like I never had to study for a history test. I remember dates. I remember everything. And now I'm like, why do I have that gift? And I think it's so that I can remember stuff to go back and untangle the cobwebs that they've created and this, this distorted delusion that we're all in. So, um, have you a math problem now, like me, mm -hmm. I can't do a math problem. Math is no, math I can't is either. I hated, I hated math classes, all of them. Every I was into, I, I was into gym class, art class, music class, history class, which is still didn't make any sense. Geography, I liked geography. And the rest of it, 
Oh, I, I liked English in elementary school. And when I got to high school, I was reading all these stupid books. Um, <clears throat> there was one book that we read that was so morbid. I like was I about to literature. like, huh? Well, I love literature. I love reading all the stuff, all the things. Yeah. Well, it was about, I, I'm going to, it was about incubator babies. Oh, so they're oh, telling oh. you. Yeah, they're telling you. What was the book? I forgot what it is. I have to it's look like back classic. and yeah, it, it's um, yeah, my uh, my teacher there, he uh, that had us read this book. I I question him. He was he was an odd duck. A lot of literature people are. I mean, I'm a literature person, but you know, you spend your day like I will say. There's one thing my fourth grade teacher I told my mom once, and I always remembered this because it made a lot of sense. She said there are two types of thinkers in this world. There are people who think black and white and people who think gray. People who think black and white are really good at math and science. They're your doctor. They're your they need a factual answer. Uh, people who think gray are your artists, your um, writers. They like philosophy. And she told my mom, she was like, Bryce is a gray thinker. She doesn't need a direct answer. She likes to ponder things. This is when I was in the fourth grade, guys. Fourth grade. You know, she likes to, to, to ponder ideas. She doesn't, she doesn't need anything direct. My sister, on the other hand, is a black and white thinker. She wants an actual answer. And so oh. <laughs> she yeah. told my sister that, that my mom that, and it, it changed the way my mom taught us and raised us because, yeah, that's true. Obviously, I dig philosophy. Obviously, that's how my brain works. And that's how literature people are. They're very gray thinkers. So, you know, because if you think about creative writing, literature, it is, it, it goes hand in hand with like visual art. Visual artists paint with colors. Creative writers paint with words and emotions, right? So um, I've sobbed through books before, just as I've sobbed looking at a painting. So it's the same idea of filtering ideas and not really just needing an experience, not an actual. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out where I fit. I like never fit in it because I'm such a mix of both of those. I am too. I'm, I'm a like, very gray thinker. Big time. <laughs> yeah. Big time. Um, I think my parents, I actually thought about going to law school for like a hot second when I was in high school. I was when we were having to look at, I went to college prep, private school, college prep school. So I didn't actually know this is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know that university was a choice until I was in it. <laughs> I thought you had to legally go to university. I, I thought you had, I thought everybody had to like high school. <laughs> no, I thought you had to. Um, so we started looking at universities like right when I was a freshman and we got our college advisors and so I was actually looking at prepping to go to law school I think that was more like oh she's a great thinker she'll be a good attorney I would be so shitty in that courtroom I'd start crying <laughs> like, like <laughs> so glad that never happened but all right ladies we are really had a long episode today I thank you guys so much for joining me ladies um and thank you to our audience. If you have, I know we're going to be doing more of these. Magdalene is really pushing us to start talking about these topics because I think we are at the finish line. So guys, if you have any ideas of things you want us to dig into um, as biblical, um, if you're from another faith like Islam, um, I know I told Stephanie, I kind of want to start studying. I have a friend who's Muslim, but I want to start studying Islam because I feel like we need to look into that too um, because there's so much, you know, the, the big the big moral of the story is we're not each other's enemies never were doesn't matter what your race is doesn't matter where you come from in the world doesn't matter what your religion is they've done so much to try to pin us against each other so that we don't look at them we're not each other's enemies it is us versus them all of us collectively whether you're muslim christian hindu uh buddhist whatever we're all in this together we've all been hoodwinked and together we will walk each other home. So, all right, ladies, guys, I'm going to put the links to their channels down in the description box below. Please make sure you go and subscribe to them. Eva, do you have a Venmo? I do. Yes. Will you send it to me? I will. Yes. If you would like to <laughs> Ava and Stephanie for pulling the cards today, I will put a link to both their Venmos down in the description box below as well. And Stephanie, do you want me to leave your booking? Actually, leave Ava's booking. She needs some bookings. Ava Are does. Um, oh, yeah. I have been for like a month now. 
Yeah. <laughs> you want to book with Ava too? I'll just give me your stuff, girl. I'll put it down in the description box. I'm, I'm booked out until July, guys, almost. So if you want an immediate reading, I recommend Ava. She's my go-to when I need something read on myself. So, and she's phenomenal at it. And um, yeah. Yeah. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. We'll do this again very soon. Bye. 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 Bye.